some of you that view my channel frequently, um, all five of you <laughs> might remember or know that I'm a little obsessed with these go-karts that Hot Wheels came out with in the late 90s. Um, I just instantly thought it was the coolest idea ever. Little go-kart. You still get all the profit of a $1 car. Back at, you know, that those days, they were 87, 93, 95, 97 cents for Hot Wheels. But they're much smaller, less parts. They were cheaper to produce, of course, and so the profit margin would be better, and I just thought it was a neat win-win. You know, us enthusiasts, we get a neat little go-kart thing, and Hot Wheels would be able to churn out some cheap die-cast cars that will sell at whole price anyway. Um, so I've been collecting these off and on. I don't, I don't really go way out of my way to get them, but when I do see them, it, it, it my, my, my eyeball goes to them immediately. Um, recently I went to Phil's store, the Diecast Cartel, and I bought a good chunk of these came from him. I got them all in one day. Now, again, not all, but a good chunk of these. And here's a little variation for you that you might enjoy. I made a short video about this one already, but I'm going to show it to you again because it's so cool. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at these real rider stretched wheels on this thing. I mean, it's just, wow. Honestly, I'm jealous I didn't think of this myself. That's all I can think of every time I look at this is like, whoever did that, that's cool. So, by the way, if you end up watching this, I don't know which one of the fellow collector customizers in the area made this, but 10 out of 10. Um, here's three that, so I, I've got a few go-karts that I have that are in this category. Like some of these I have carded. But I recently went through and I picked out three of the ones that I don't have opened. And I'm going to... I, I want those loose as well. So I have these three that I picked out. They were kind of my top three of my carded go-karts that I want to open in order to add to this collection. There's a couple of doubles here, so that works out perfectly. Um, so let's, let's get cracking. Let's open these things up. By the way, for those of you who are going to ask, because I'm sure it's inevitable that people will ask, I do have the white and gold treasure hunt go-kart as well. Um, it is somewhere in storage. I, I just... I'll get around to opening it up eventually. I'm not too worried about it. As, as cool as it is, it, I don't need one loose right, right this second. Um, but I will say I was excited to get... to crack open this Spectra Flame one. It's not the best version of Spectra Flame paint, but... It is technically Spectra Flame nonetheless, and even though it's only a, uh, a red line on the rear, it is technically a red line, so pretty cool. So there you go. Let's rearrange these real quick. All right, there you go. There's 15 of them. They're all slightly different. There is a couple of... Technically, a couple of them are the same one, or it's a repeat, like this one and this one. But not only is it a variation, but one has the original wheels. This one is the one with the stretched real riders. And I think that's the only instance of a blatantly, you know, the, the exact same casting. All these other ones, believe it or not, there are variations between them. All four of the orange go-karts are different. Actually, let's show you real quick. See? Not the same between the four of them. All four are slightly different. Gold wheels versus silver wheels. White seat, white graphics, Hot Wheels logo. This is actually the twin to the green one. See what I mean? That MJ Engineering. One, two, three racing. Anyway, there you go. That's the whole video. Thanks for watching. Here's some some teasers for later.